Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S2, S3, 3132. Let's play games around the world. By Tammy Morton. Getting ready to play. In this book, you will learn how to play games from five different countries. Before you play each game, read the, read the directions carefully. Make sure you have all the things listed in the what you need box. Then start playing. Learn how to play Shagai on page six. A game from Ghana, Ampe. Ampe is a jumping game that's fun for everyone. Two players play at a time. In Ghana, one player is called Oiwa, the other is called Opare. Two players, music. How to play Ampere? Number one, decide who is Oiya and who is Opare. When both players are ready, start the music. Together, clap to the beat. After four claps, jump up. As you land, choose a food to kick up. Freeze with that food. Put up. Uh, if both players kick the same leg, Opare wins a point. If players kick different legs, Oia wins a point. The first player to get 10 points wins the game. Scoring. Players kick the same leg, Opare gets a point. Oia gets a point. Shagai, a game from Mongolia. Children in Mongolia play with game pieces made from sheep ankle bones. In the Mongolian language, the bones are called Shagai. This game is a form of Mongolian game played with Shagai. You use dice instead of a real Shagai. Shagai bones, a real Shagai has four sides. Mongolian people use Shagai. To play many different games, what you need, two or more players. Dice, use 10 dice if two players are playing. Add five dice for each player, add it to the game. One extra dice for each player. A large flat surface like a tabletop or a, a floor. How to play Shagai? Number one, decide who goes first. Give each player one dice to keep, then roll the rest of the dice onto the flat surface. On each turn, find two dice with the same number of dots showing. Use your own dice to hit one of the dice in the pair without touching any other dice. If you hit a dice correctly, you get to keep it. Then look for another pair and try to hit one of those dice. If you miss, your turn is over. Players take turns until there are no more matching dice pairs. Whoever has the most dice at the end of the game wins. Jang Ken Bo, a game from Japan, in many parts of the world. This game is known as Rock Paper Scissors. Two people can play the game anywhere because you don't need a game board. All you need is a friend willing to play. These players' hands are in the paper and rock shapes. Paper wins this round. Rock, a fist, paper, a flat hand, scissors, two fingers. Number one, sit facing the other player. Number two, hold out your hands in fist. Move your fist up and down as you say, Jang Ken Po. Number three, as you say, pawn, quickly move your hands into one of, one of three shapes. Rock, paper, or scissors. The box on the right shows who wins the round. Four, give a point to the winner of the round and play again. The first player with 10 points wins the game.
Paper and scissors, scissors win. Kelly, scissors, go paper. Scissors and rock, rock wins because rock dulls scissors. Paper and rock, paper wins because paper covers rock. Paper and paper, no one wins. Two hands in the same shape is a tie. Kokula uh, Chihapaki. Kokula Chihapaki is a fun game for a large group. Children in India have played it for many years. Children in other countries play versions of the game too. In many parts of the world, the game is called uh, Drop the Hanky. Six or more players, a handkerchief, scissors, a thread, a marble. Number one, get the hanky ready, sit back, said right. Choose someone to be it. Have the rest of the players sit in a circle, facing each other. If you are it, walk around the outside of the circle while holding the hanky. Pretend to drop the hanky behind each player at some point, actually. Drop the hanky behind someone, then keep walking. If you are a player in the circle, feel behind you for the hanky. Don't look. That's not allowed. If you feel the hanky behind you, pick it up quick. Uh, chase it around the circle. Try to tag it. Tag it with the hanky. How to make the hanky? Got a piece of thread. Put the marble into the center of the handkerchief and wrap the clothes around it. Tie the thread tightly around the marble so it can fall out. Who is it? If a player tags it, the game goes on with the same it. If it runs all the way around the circle without being tagged, he or she sits in the other player's place, then the player with the hanky is it. Uh, Sega, a game from Egypt. Sega is a board game that people have played for thousands of years. In fact, scientists have found the Sega boards in the tombs of Egyptian mummies. The Sega is a little like checkers or chess. It takes good thinking skills and planning to win. So choose your moves carefully, what you need. Two players, game board, three buttons or pins for each player. This is a Sega game board. You can play on this one or draw your own to use. Sega pieces. You can use coins, pins, buttons or any small items as Sega pieces. Just make sure you know whose pieces are whose. Uh, setting up the board. Player one's piece, player two's pieces. How to play Sega. Each player places three playing pieces in a row on opposite ends of the board. The middle row should be empty. See page 14. Decide who goes first. Player take turns. On each turn, move your piece one or two squares in any direction. You can only move to an empty square. Do not cross a piece piece or for any other play pieces. First player to move his or her pieces into a straight line window wins. The line can run down, cross, cross or diagonally. It can be the same as the starting line. The end. Mm -hmm.